to it. You talk about the illicit and inappropriate political inter interference. And I found illicit a very intriguing term because the inference of that is much broader than I think your intention is. And I would like mm -hmm. at some point to be able to engage further because I think we shouldn't uh, uh, allow aberrations mm -hmm. to be presented as a manifestation that is part of a public service culture because uh, we know that there's the whole issue of path dependency. And what we've seen there, I may argue, have skipped two administrations effectively and may have gone back to what we may choose to ignore as something that uh, could well have been prevalent under an apartheid public service that was not uh, democratic. And it manifested itself during a period that I consider an aberration in the history of South Africa. I'd also further argue that when I, I look at, uh, uh, you know, the points that you make on pages four and five in particular, and you talk about uh, uh, appointments and how it should be done, and again, I go back and say a lot of that was in place during my uh, tenure as Minister for Public Service, and I'm ready to elaborate on that. And this comes to the issue of shortlists or not. Now, if we follow what uh, we read in the media and all of us can draw on open sources, it was not a particular administration that has fallen foul of what you've seen, we also see that happening now. And we should also ask ourselves what informs it. So it's quite easy to be quite strongly prescriptive in on issues and, and, and look, and, and here I can agree with you completely, look at the controls that should be put in place and uh, the application of, of uh, the regulatory environment. And, and as I said in one public lecture I did at uh, the University of Pretoria, um, it also then uh, begs the question of the role of a body that you've been very complimentary on in your uh, study, and I think you were correct. Uh, well, you have reason to do so, and that's the Public Service mm -hmm. Commission. You ask yourself, what has the role of the Public Service Commission been during this period of what I call an aberration, you know, and even at present? Because I think we should be very careful that we are never seen to be selective on how we capture a particular period. So we may have a period that is the state capture period and focus all the wrong on that. But we don't evenly look at the role of all structures because I, at the end of the day, and I've said this to public servants directly and in the lecture I referred to where I said, as a professional public service, there was very clear limitations from the side, both of the Department of Public Service and Administration and the Public Service Commission. What has happened in that period should never have happened. And you've had public servants expediently playing politics at a time when that was not their business and should never have been. Because 